I do a Star Wars fan film. Can I speak? It just really connects to me. It resonates uh, just the the passion of it, what's behind it, and the, the journey, the, the the battle between good and evil. It, it just has resonated with me since I was a kid. Just being here on set is so cool. We're making a Star Wars film in, in a lot of ways that they made them the originals. Um, you know, we're building practical sets and, and everything like that. It's really cool. It's exciting. My name is Ty Nelson, and I am the producer, and I play Jason Solo, a.k.a. Darth Kytus. My name is Danny James. I was the director and one of the executive producers of the project. Uh, I'm Andrew James. I'm uh, the director of photography and producer. Uh, we, just, we were just talking about Star Wars movies and, and about the new Star Wars movies that are coming out. That would be a lot of fun to, to make our own, so we, we, we went ahead and did. I'm Julia Faye Sanders, and I played Marta Gev. Hi, my name is Tom Post. The character I play is named Prince Isolder. My name is JC Twist, and I am playing the part of Jaina Solo. Best moment for me working on this project so far has been just Honestly, getting to show up, seeing the sets, being in the costumes, it just takes you right there. The whole experience has been a blast. I'm Mark Fordham, and I am the set designer. Uh, you know, building practical sets, uh, large practical sets, uh, is a lot of work. Of course, you're stressed, you're sweating, and you're looking at each other going, is this going to work? And when it does, yeah, it's, it's, it's satisfying. The set, although it's thrown away, lives on through the movie. And uh, so it's, uh, you're able to hold on to that, that memory. Payoff for a fan film like this is the love of the story, the love of the actual Star Wars universe. I think most of us that are involved have a long-standing admiration and fandom of the Star Wars universe. Definitely, the community is really strong and just helps Star Wars survive for so long and stay alive and keep growing constantly. It's amazing. Doing research for Jaina has been a very fun experience for one. I uh, used it as, as an excuse to rewatch all the Star Wars movies again, can't complain. And I've had a fun time um, actually looking at Han and Leia to kind of pick up personalities um, from mom and dad. Han Solo was my favorite when I was growing up. Oh, he, he was the man. As I grow, I realize that, that Han, who was my childhood hero, I find that I'm, I'm, I'm more like Luke. I, I find that I, I'm, on, I'm on this journey. I saw the film, obviously, as a teenager back in 1977, and I was just hooked at that point. Uh, it just captivated my imagination. It was like nothing I'd seen before. Uh, it just seemed real. It was visceral. I, just, I connected to it. It changed my life. It changed a lot of people's lives. It, it made us see things differently. It made us, um, exp you know, reach out beyond what the norm is. What was best about working on this project is, is that it wasn't a question of somebody saying, okay, well, whose job is this? It was everybody stepping up and saying, this needs to be done. And it, whether it was for the love of the project or or the, the necessity of, of seeing something that needed to be done, it was, it, it really was eye-opening and heartwarming to, to, to watch all these people who are fans putting blood, sweat, tears, money into a project that really will only be recognized by other fans. Star Wars. I don't know if I answered that question. <laughs> <laughs>